Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today we're walking through one of my favorite, more exotic recipes using deer meat, venison tartare. Now, if you've cooked with venison before, you more than likely know that deer meat is best cooked rare. So following that school of thought to the extreme, let's not cook it at all. Beef tartare and other raw meat presentations are nothing new. They're very popular throughout the world as well as in fine dining establishments here in the United States. As with eating any uncooked meats, there are of course inherent risks. So I really have to stress that before you attempt this recipe, please make sure to read through the description in the drop down below for not only ingredients and supplies, but also details on mitigating those risks the best you can. And with that big warning label covered, let's get to cooking. We're starting out this recipe with the main ingredient and the star of the show, which is deer meat. I'm using about a half pound of backstrap, but you're also welcome to try the tenderloins or any other muscle you feel is as tender as they come. Make sure to remove every single speck of sinew and fat. Then simply finely dice the meat into small cubes. After the meat, we'll then add about three tablespoons of minced shallots. Then about a quarter to half a lemon's worth of zest. Tweak this depending on how strong you want that citrus taste. Also, try not to spill half of it like I did. One teaspoon of kosher salt, about a half teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter cup of finely chopped parsley, two tablespoons of stone ground mustard, three to five dashes of Worcestershire sauce, and about three to five dashes of your favorite hot sauce. This hot sauce is homemade and hotter than most, so we're gonna be conservative on the drops here. Finally, separate the yolk from a fresh egg and add it to your bowl. This is another raw component to this dish, so make sure to be extra careful when selecting fresh eggs. Now stir your ingredients until everything is really well mixed. Also, make sure to take a moment and give it a taste. Now would be the time to add anything you think is missing. Once it passes the taste test, place the bowl in your fridge and chill it until it's time to eat. This dish is served cold, so it's something you can throw together earlier in the day and then toss on a plate come dinner time. When it is time to serve, simply take the meat out of your fridge and pack it tightly into a small bowl or cup. Then flip that cup upside down onto a plate and you should have a fancy little tartar tower like this one. Garnish with just a little bit of coarse salt, maybe some leftover parsley to make it look all chefy, and then toss on some crackers so we can start digging in. Tasting this batch, the venison is there, but not in a gamey, strong flavor way. It's a subtle minerality and then tapers off as you start to taste the sharper ingredients like the mustard, the citrus from that lemon zest, shallots, hot sauce, and of course, Worcestershire. The egg yolk really doesn't add to the flavor at all, but more so acts as a binder. However, it does make the overall texture very creamy. All said and done, I could eat about five pounds of this. It's a very unique, delicate mouthfeel. and has just this wonderful bouquet of flavors that are really well balanced. It takes a piece of meat that is usually, and wrongly, looked down upon as redneck type of protein, and it elevates it to something that is far more sophisticated. Look, each his own. And I know there's gonna be some folks out there who are a hard stop when it comes to raw meat or even raw eggs. But if you're the adventurous type and take the proper precautions in preparing this recipe, I don't see how you couldn't absolutely love it. That'll do it for this recipe and thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about raw meat dishes. Just make sure to be friendly with your opinion. I always try to be available to my viewers, so also don't be shy in leaving a quick question or comment. If you're new to the channel, I hope I've been helpful in sharing my perspective on things and please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great content to come. All right, y'all. Take care.